Hey, what's up, guys? It's Justin Ruland, back again with a new video, and um, so I'm sorry about the fan noise, but I, you know, I usually like to keep my fan on because it gets hot in here, but anyway, um, tonight I want to do a video um, for, for um, you guys who are NVDA users. Um, I want to show you what's new in... Uh, and uh, the newest update of NVDA, which I, I'm, I believe it's 2017.2, which is the new version um, that was just released. Um, so uh, um, I'm not gonna like do a full review it and a review of it and walk through it. Um, I'm gonna actually go through the change log um, on on the actual uh, what's on the actual uh, website, which 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 is on the what's new page of NVDA, and I will I will. Uh, go through that right now and um i did slow my speech rate down for you guys so you guys are able to understand what i'm doing and i'm also using uh ultra eloquence which is you know basically eti eloquence but yeah so anyway i just open up my laptop here and secure desktop Okay, so now I'm going to go to my NVDA menu by pressing uh, insert N, NVDA menu. press letter H for help, User guide you. then press letter N for what's new, What's new in NVDA Mozilla Firefox? What's new in NVDA? Heading level 1. What's new in NVDA? Heading level 2. 2000. Highlight shelf is releasing. Heading level 2. 2017.2. Okay, yeah, this is 2017.2. Okay. So now we're going to read through this, and I'm going to kind of give you guys my thoughts as we read through here, so. Highlights of edit level. Highlights of this release include full support for audio ducking into Windows 10 creators. Update. Fixes for several selection issues in browse mode, including problems with select all. So those, you know, those are pretty useful fixes, I will say. I mean, you know, audio ducking, you can enable it. You could enable it before, but now there's, now there's full support for it, so it's enabled by default. Which is kind of nice. Which is nice, you know, if you're listening to audio and you just want to hear your speech. Significant improvements in Microsoft Edge support and improvements on the website identification. Oh, and also too, like for um, the uh, the um, the select uh, the select all and browse mode and stuff like that. I'm glad, you know, that's good. That's fixed. And also, right, let me just go. Something significant improvements in Microsoft Edge support and improvements on the website identification. Elements marked as current. Unit area current. Level okay, so that's good. You know, improvements from Microsoft Edge. Um, for a long time, since Windows 10 was released, Microsoft Edge has been a headache for screen reader users, and NVDA has made strides, and you know, with this update to fix it. And uh, I can tell you from experience that it's been pretty decent. Now we're gonna look at the new features. List with seven items, full Excel border information can now be recorded in Microsoft Excel by using NVDA Plus app. Link number 3044. That's good. Um. I've used Microsoft Excel with NVDA, and I haven't, I, you know, I haven't had the best experience with it, so I'm glad that's fixed. I don't use Microsoft Excel anymore, but for those of you who do, that's, that's good to, that's good, that, that's good that that's been added. Bulletin web browser, NVDA now indicates when an element has departed the current, specifically. Using the ARIA current attribute, link number 6358. Okay, so that that's that could be also nice too, you know, knowing if uh, if a landmark is if it's a current landmark or you know, that that's that's pretty useful, I would say. Bullet automatic language switching is now supported in Microsoft Edge. Click number sixty and fifty two. That's that's a big one, not for me necessarily. Well, it could be for me um, if I'm reading something in a different language, maybe. But that is big. Uh, multi, uh, you know, automatic multi language switch. Uh, switching. Um, like if you're reading a web page in Spanish, you know, your speech will automatically switch to Spanish, which is nice, or whatever language you're reading it in. So that could be nice for those of you in, 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 uh, who are visually impaired and in Enterprise and you need the Windows 10 calculator. That's, that could be pretty good for you guys, too. Um, Again, not something that really would affect me too much, but it's still useful. 
Half server. Flick number 6914. Bullet performing the red curve line command three times quickly spelled the line with character. That's useful. Um, I believe that was actually... I believe that's been a command in JAWS for quite a while now. Um, you know, performing the read line command three times quickly. I believe that's been in JAWS for quite a while now. And they're just adding that NVDA, so... Description. Flick number 6893. Bullet language. Okay, Burmese, that's good. Um, it has, has support for Burmese, that's nice for those of you who speak that language or who, who uh, you know, who use NVDA. That's good too. That, that could be, that's, that's pretty useful too, if you need that kind of thing. Now let's go through the changes. That's pretty awesome. I mean, you know, it'll, so it will basically ignore the stuff that that you don't really need to see a lot of the junk that you don't need. Um, it'll it'll skip over that and just focus on the important items that you're navigating. So that's pretty good too. Pretty useful. Now let's see about bug fixes and see if I've experienced I experience any of these bugs. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So that must have been a problem for a lot of people. Oh, that's good because I've ran into the issue before where I did where I would accidentally click that. The configuration profile, and I would hit escape, and I wouldn't be able to dismiss it, so I would have to end up um, pressing Alt F4 to, to, you know, completely close it out. But I'm glad you can now press escape to do that. The dialogue, with number 60 and 51. Bullet fixed some crashes in Mozilla Firefox and other gecko applications where the multi process. Feature is enabled, with number 60 and 85. That's awesome. Um, I, I use Firefox, actually, so that's I'm glad that's fixed. Because that could, that's that sounds like it could that sounds like it was a headache before. I never I never really had that problem, but uh, you know I'm glad that they addressed it anyway. Um, but. Bullet recording of background color and screen review is now more accurate when text was drawn with a transparent background. Click number sixty four sixty seven. That's good. Reporting of background color is more accurate. Um, that's that's pretty good. I mean, I can see some colors, but for those who can't, you know that's that could be pretty useful and maybe you could and you know I could help me a little bit too because sometimes sometimes I have a hard time seeing certain colors so that that's good. Um that's that's fine I guess if you if you still use Internet Explorer but I don't. Um I'm personally not a fan of Internet Explorer. But, uh, you know, anyways, let's keep on going. Specifically, support for Arnav has prevented with a difference in when multiple ideas are provided. Click number 5784. Forward to Windows 10 Creators Update. NVDA's on those updates and works as a previous Windows. Oh, okay. So, audio ducking was there. Okay, I, I misspoke, I'm sorry. Um, but they've, you know, in the Creators Update, they've, um, made it work like it did in the previous versions of Windows again. Because I guess maybe it was broken when Windows 10 came out. So, that's, you know, that's good. Not something I'm particularly worried about, I guess. I mean, I don't know. Okay, that that's good. Um, I'm glad there's no longer twenty spaces that they just you know they keep on going on with the controls, I guess. Click number sixty seven ninety. Full certain combinations of keys on pins displays. Keys on key. Space plus dot four. No longer available intermittently. Okay. Click number thirty one fifty seven. Full fix the issue when opening a serial port on system using certain languages other than English. Yeah, that yeah, that might be a big problem for some people. 
So that's a good thing that's fixed. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. If you use a braille display, that's a huge fix. That's that's pretty good too. Okay. Okay, Pr pretty good change. Pretty good fix. Another great improvement for Edge. Um, let's see what else we got. Okay. Okay, that's nice. That's a big one. If you if you're trying to read PDFs with Adobe Acrobat Reader and it crashes, that could be yeah. Not good at all. Okay. Nice. That's good. I, I, you know, I think I've ran into that issue a couple times where you know that would happen to me. So I'm glad that's fixed. Okay, now this is the developer stuff. I'll just go over this real quick. Now, you know what, I might not finish going over this developer stuff because the average consumer is not really going to care about what's new for developers and stuff like that, so um, I'm going to close this out actually. Well, actually, I'm just going to scroll through here quick just to see if there's anything else. Okay, so that's it. That's that's for the previous version. So seventeen point one. Okay, so I'm gonna exit out of here now. All right, I'm gonna close. I'm gonna close my laptop here. Um. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I, I know it might not be the most organized video, but I wanted to come on here and maybe um, share this stuff with you guys so you guys know what's new. Um, if you guys use NVDA, just, um, you know, if you'd like to leave a comment in the comment section, you know, let me know um, if any of these bugs have been fixed for you, if you've experienced any of the issues that, that were addressed. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, uh, this has been Justin Ruland, thank you all for watching, and I'm out of here. Peace.